What's up? What's up? Hop on here real quick. Share a little something. A little something, something. Getting ready to head to the gym. It's Friday, so it's a back day for me. And I say it's a back day. The majority of what I'm doing is going to be back, but I'm going to throw some shoulder work in there. Get some good stretching in, what have you, what not. But, uh... This morning I went to the track. On the days I don't do cardio, I usually like to get a little walking in. Nothing crazy, just some, uh, maybe a mile or two. Depends on if it's in the morning or if I get it in the evening or whatever, but today was in the morning, right? So, walking out there, I just started thinking about like, high school football practice. There was a couple kids out there, it looked like they play high school sports. They had the cones set up doing drills and tossing the ball back and forth. A couple kids uh, running 400 meter sprints, 400 meter runs, I guess I should say. I don't know if they were sprinting or not. But I started thinking about the progress made from the time I was a senior to today. And then like the whole ups and downs, you know, like the peaks and valleys, the things you go through that kind of set you back, times when you feel like everything's clicking, fitness is A1, everything's A1, and then you have those times where you're like, I'm off, everything is off, physical, physical wise. So, I started thinking about when, uh, say about five years ago, man, I started hearing a bunch, a bunch of people talk about this you versus you mentality. Like, oh, don't don't compare yourself to nobody because it's only you versus you. And you are your own competition and blah, blah, blah. And that shit used to piss me off, man. It used to drive me nuts. And I'm not really sure why, but one of the main things was that I just felt like it was a cop-out. I felt like it was a cop-out because I used to use other people as a motivator uh, during high school, like football practices, even in college. Like if I if I go through a drill and a guy comes behind me and he does the drill better, next time I'm up, I'm, I'm on, I want to outperform that guy, you know. So when I hear you versus you, I'm thinking like that's just your way of, of being mediocre and accepting the fact that you may not be able to push harder than somebody else. That's what I used to think at least. But today, I, I kind of started thinking about it from a different uh, viewpoint. When I hear you versus you now, I think more of just me versus my own best self. Like, not saying I can't, I can't allow myself to be pushed by other people and even take on some motivation from other people. And that's, I, that's another story, because I kind of feel like Outside motivation is bullshit, but that's for another day. I, I, I don't believe that you can't allow yourself to be pushed while only gauging yourself. If that makes any sense. Um, it is you versus you. Push yourself better. Push yourself to be better today than you were yesterday. I think is a good a good starting point for that. But I also feel like you can look at your past successes, and try to figure out a way to surpass those. Like I go back and look at videos of some of the camps we used to run and some of the uh, fitness goals that I hit, and I'm like, man, I I can't believe I even let myself get away from that, right? So hop back on it. Put that put that screensaver up of you when you were at your best summer, whatever year, summer 2015 or whatever, 2012 or whatever it may be. And let that be, let that be your motivator. Let that be what you use to push yourself. Cause that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I guess I should say. We, we're trying to track to get back to what I used to do, what I used to be as far as fitness and then surpass that. So I'm looking at the old me Comparing it to the new me, trying to make a better me. Doesn't make any sense. You versus you, baby. You versus you. We're gonna hit this gym up, get this workout in. Uh, 
Until next time, man. I'll let y'all.